Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to capture mixed reality gameplay footage with the Oculus Quest. Now, Oculus recently released an updated version of the official mixed reality capture tool. So I thought it'd be interesting to check it out and do a video guide. I'll be doing another guide on how to record traditional Oculus Quest gameplay footage in a separate video soon. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything. Now it's pretty impressive that mixed reality capture is even possible on the Oculus Quest and mixed reality can be a really nice way for content creators and developers alike to easily convey to a viewer that the player in the footage is totally immersed in a virtual world. And hopefully by the end of the video today, you should understand how to capture mixed reality footage like this for yourself. I hope you guys and girls find this video guide useful and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we get into the guide, you'll need the following equipment for this to work. You'll need a fairly decent spec modern gaming PC. You'll also need a webcam or a camera like a GoPro or DSLR connected to a capture card. Along with these, you'll also need a green screen. Now there is a way to do this without a green screen and a camera and just using an iPhone by using an app from the team at Live. However, I haven't tried this out myself yet, but if you're interested in seeing that in a future video, just let me know in the comments down below. You'll also need a five gigahertz Wi-Fi router and some blue tack or a piece of tape. And finally, you'll need a mixed reality supported game. And for the latest information on supported games, check out the link in the description down below. Alongside the equipment, you'll also need to download some free software, including the latest versions of the Oculus MRC tools for both PC and Quest. You'll also need OBS. I'm going to be using the latest version of OBS for this capture, and it worked absolutely fine. Links to these applications are in the description, and I'll be showing you how to install them throughout this guide. Now we just need to get a few things ready and do some prep in advance. First, you wanna ensure that your Quest is fully charged and place a piece of blue tack or tape over the proximity sensor inside the headset. And this is done to ensure that the Quest keeps running when you take the headset off during calibration. Also, you want to make sure that your camera is set up and looking at your green screen area, which should be adequately lit. If possible, try and fit your whole body in the camera's view as this looks great in mixed reality gameplay footage. It's also worth ensuring that your camera is in the right position now, as every time you move your camera later on, you'll need to recalibrate and go through the process again. Ideally, you'll want your camera to be outputting video at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And if you're using a GoPro like me, you'll want to put it into linear mode. Ensure that your PC and Oculus Quest are on the same network and that the connection between your Quest and Wi-Fi router is five gigahertz. So first up, let's get the required software installed, starting with OBS. And all you simply need to do is double click on the installer that we downloaded. Now OBS stands for Open Broadcast Software, and this is the software that we're gonna be using to record the mixed reality gameplay from the Quest onto your PC. Now let's go to the mixed reality capture tool we downloaded from Oculus and just unzip the zip file and install the Oculus MRC software. This can be installed on both Windows or Mac. Once installed, launch the application and click Get Started. Agree to the terms and conditions and select Oculus Quest from the options and press continue. Now at this point, we need to install the MRC app on the Oculus Quest headset itself. And to do this, click on the link in the desktop application, which I've highlighted here, which will take you to the Oculus website in your browser. All you need to do is log into your Oculus account and add the Oculus Quest MRC tools application to your Oculus account. Now, when you put your Oculus Quest on and go to the uninstalled apps in your library, you'll be able to find and download the MRC app in the headset. Just make sure that you update the app if required and launch it. If you encounter a problem where it says there's an update available but doesn't update, just simply uninstall the app and install it again, and that certainly worked for me. Once the MRC app is open in your Oculus Quest, you should see your Oculus Quest's IP address at the top of a gray screen. Just keep a mental note of this if you can. 
Just be aware that if the background color of the MRC app is blue, then you're on the older version of the app and you need to update to the latest version of the app, which has a gray background. Once that's done, take the Oculus Quest off and go back to your PC and click on search for device. And hopefully it will show your Oculus Quest headset automatically, but if not, you can manually enter the IP address that we saw displayed inside the headset earlier. If you still can't find your headset, ensure again that your Oculus Quest and PC are on the same network. Now we need to calibrate the camera with the Quest and controllers so they'll be correctly aligned in the footage. All we need to do is simply click on create new calibration. Now choose the camera that you're going to be using for calibration and for my setup I'm going to be using a GoPro Hero 6 connected with an Elgato HD60S Plus capture card. Now this part of the calibration can be a bit tricky as you need to be able to see the calibration output on your monitor to match the controller positions correctly. If your monitor is far away from your play space, it might help to have a second person to give you a helping hand. Use the right Oculus Touch controller to match the blue icons displayed on the screen. If the icons go yellow, this means that the controller cannot be seen by the Oculus Quest's tracking sensors, so ensure that you keep the Quest's tracking sensors in view of the controller as best as you can by holding the headset with your other hand. Once the controller is aligned with the overlay, just simply press the trigger button. Once you've aligned all the controller positions as best you can, the calibration will be complete. You can tweak this after the calibration is done, so it's perfectly lined up by adjusting these sliders or using the controller inputs. Again, it might be handy to have a second person around to help you fine tune it, or in my case, I just put the controllers and the headset on the floor and lined them up as best as I could. Once you're done here, just click save to headset. Soon we're going to be moving over to OBS, but first you need to install the MRC OBS plugin by clicking the link in the app, which should install it automatically. Click on Generate OBS Scene Collection and save the scene in a location that you'll remember. I'm just going to save mine in my Documents folder and save it as something like Quest MRC. Now open OBS and click on Scene Collection at the top of the application. Click on Import and select the scene that you just saved. Now your OBS scene should look like this. If you had other OBS scenes already set up, don't worry, you haven't lost them. You can simply go back to your original scenes by using the scene collection selector at the top and you'll likely find them saved under Entitled. In the Quest MRC scenes, double click on Video Capture Device and ensure the correct camera source is selected. Then right click on the Video Capture Device and click on Filters and add a chroma key to key out your green screen. You'll want to fine tune this as best as you possibly can to get rid of any rough edges or artifacts. Now you can crop away the rest of your camera's view, which isn't covered by the green screen itself, by simply holding the Alt button on your keyboard and dragging the left and right edges with your mouse. Just be aware during your capture of the limits of your camera's field of view, so when you record your gameplay you don't clip the edges, which can break the illusion when viewing the footage back. Now when you run the MRC application on your Oculus Quest again, go back to your desktop and to the OBS scene and double click on the Oculus MRC source. You should see your Oculus Quest's IP address and click on connect to MRC enabled game running on Quest. Now you can do a little test recording. Go back to your play space, put the Quest on and move your controllers around and then go back and check the footage. In the footage you should just see a grey background but you should see your Oculus Quest controllers overlaid over the video. And this is where you can check if your calibration needs a little bit of tweaking or not. Now when you check the footage, if your video feed is moving faster than the gameplay and it looks a little bit out of sync or laggy, then you can add a delay to the video stream by right clicking on the video capture device, click on filters and add a render delay. Now for me personally using a GoPro, 25 milliseconds worked best. Once you're happy with the alignment and the delay, launch a compatible Oculus Quest game in the headset and again double click on the MRC source in OBS and click on connect to MRC enabled game running on Quest. Now you should see the game in the OBS capture along with your video feed. Now if you want to rotate your play space, all you need to do is just press and hold the Oculus Home button on your touch controller in the direction you want to be facing. And this will allow you to capture gameplay footage from different angles so you can get a little bit creative with it. And now all you need to do is just tweak your settings here and there so it looks as good as possible. Just remember that if you move your camera, you'll need to go through the calibration process all over again. If you do have to do this though, I would recommend just saving over your calibration files and that will just refresh the scenes that are already set up in OBS. And here's some additional tips that I learned playing around with these tools. Out of all the games that I tested, Space Pirate Trainer and Super Hot worked the best, and I didn't have to enable any settings in the game. However, in Beat Saber, you have to enable Mixed Reality Capture in the game's menu, and even then I couldn't get the Beat Saber capture to work or align properly. I would also recommend that you wear dark clothing in the video stream, as this will help you stand out from the gameplay and also help prevent any color bleed from your green screen. 
Now, although my mixed reality footage came out okay, it probably would have benefited from a little more lighting on me, the subject. The more lighting that you can throw at your green screen and the subject, the better. You'll also notice that in the footage here, there's a line behind me that moves in line with the headset. It would have been nice to be able to push that back, and apparently that is possible using the Live tool where you can increase the field of view, but I haven't tried that out myself yet. Also note that using this method won't stream the audio from the Quest to your PC, so you'll need to be creative in how you capture the gameplay audio. For me personally, I use an external recording device connected to the 3.5mm output on the Oculus Quest headset. And that is my mixed reality capture guide. So let's jump to the outro where I've got some more final thoughts. Okay, so there we have it. That's how to capture mixed reality gameplay footage with the Oculus Quest. And as you can see, it's quite an involved process and will take a bit of time tweaking to get it looking just right. But the end result is worth the effort in my opinion. But just be warned that not all Oculus Quest games support mixed reality capture and even some of the games that are on the supported list didn't work for me. It also sucks that the game audio isn't included in the capture stream as doing all this work and then having to find an external solution to record the game audio separately is a real hassle. But when it does work, it's pretty impressive, especially when you consider that all the data is being sent wirelessly from the Oculus Quest to the PC, and then the scene is being compiled in OBS. Now you could use the Oculus Quest connected to a PC using Oculus Link, or a wireless streaming app like Virtual Desktop or RiftCat, and then use an application called Live, which will provide a much sharper and more detailed result, but you would need the games to be installed on Steam rather than just installed on your Oculus Quest to do that. I did a video guide a long, long time ago on how to capture live mixed reality gameplay footage, and maybe I should do an updated guide in the near future. But hopefully this Oculus Quest guide helped you out, and I know mixed reality can be quite overwhelming at first, but with a bit of practice, you can end up with some really nice looking gameplay. If you're interested in the haptic vest that I was wearing in this video, it's from Subpack, and if you want me to do a comparison between this vest and the B Haptics haptic vest, then let me know in the comments and I'll cover it in a future video. Leave a like if you liked the video and you found it useful. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.